People don't seem to like my 30F partner 30M and I don't know why. This feels like an odd post to write as I think about all of this so I will try my best to set the scene. My partner 30 meters didn't really have any real friends before meeting me in university. He was kind of friends with some of the nerdy kids in grade school but I guess at one point they all shunned him and no one wanted to be friends with him so he was alone till he moved state away for university. As far as I know from his family and cousins he never did anything to deserve the treatment he got. He did really well in school. He was the state triple jump champion. He's quite attractive and generally sweet, calm person. Then he met me and my friends group during university. We are all except for him either gay, lesbians. Though I am obviously the one bi girl in the group. He was always a great friend to us. And was basically our protector when we went out to straight bars and clubs. He never tried to make a move on any of us and was always a great conversationalist. Super smart guy, etc. We all assumed couldn't believe we were his first real friends. We even set him up with girls. And he had a couple of relationships. Eventually all the partying caught up with him and he figured the drinking, drugs that were common with our friends wasn't really for him. Since that came about we started our relationship and it's hard to imagine why he didn't have any friends growing up. He's basically been the perfect partner to me. He's become quite successful without much effort. He's a board member of a charity. He's really active and has a lot of different interests. But what I've noticed is that over and over again he tried to make friends with people he meets through his interests, or through work and he's either basically shut down right away or over time they have said, done, things to him that make him realize that he has yet again been excluded intentionally. The most recent example was that a group of his co-workers, he does consulting on top of his board position, plan to go to a UFC event in Vegas without saying anything to him. And he is probably the biggest fan of that in his office. We go 23 times a year because he gets tickets backstage because of his board position. Well it was quite a surprise to him to see a bunch of his co-workers who essentially hid from him. That they were going. One of them was like, oh we didn't know you'd be up for a trip like this. Despite my partner telling them in the past that he'd get them tickets if they wanted to go with him. This is just one example of what I am feeling is a pattern. I don't understand what's going on. But it is starting to make me wonder if there is something about him that I just don't see. Or if he acts differently when he's not around me. I've even started noticing this with my own family. Despite my partner having basically renovated our entire house by himself. With my help as well. And him having a master's in engineering. I see no one in the family ask him for advice help with any DIY projects despite him offering to help multiple times. My brother-in-law even paid money to a contracting company who massively overcharged him and their engineers made a couple of errors that my partner eventually caught. I eventually asked my parents if there was anything wrong with him that I don't see and all they could really say was, oh don't be silly. He's fine. Yet I've heard many times my father extol what a great guy, my sister's husband is. Despite him being the stereotype used car salesman. Really though I feel so lucky to have met this guy. And I can see it hurts him the way people treat him despite what he projects outwardly. I don't know what to do because the more and more I see this the thought creeps in my mind that. Something must be wrong for people to act the way they do towards him. And I just can't wrap my head around what's going on. Edit. Thank you for many of the insightful responses. I think this really helps clear up a lot of what I am seeing. Also why does everyone think we, he is neurodivergent? Have you asked anyone in your life? There's actually a whole Seinfeld episode about this issue. Maybe he doesn't vibe well with other men. But he's a good friend for people who aren't men. 
Is he neurodivergent or a bit awkward? Also, sometimes people are suspicious of people that are genuine and well-intentioned. Like there's no way they're that nice. They're up to something. My BF is a very emotionally intelligent and empathetic person and he's had people point blank ask him why he is so nice and that it's weird. I could see why an LGBT crowd would be more accepting. Being a group that has a harder time being accepted by others. It's probably really refreshing for a straight man to be so kind and understanding. But others might not appreciate or relate to that. I'm thinking he may give queer vibes and some men don't like that. Is he a one-upper? I have a brother-in-law who is a nice guy and hard-working and also likes to do everything himself. But people can't stand him long because no matter what you talk about with him, he has a better story. It's like little man's syndrome or something. He always tries to out-talk everyone else's achievements or steers the conversations back to his projects or ideas. Doesn't take long for people find a reason to avoid doing much with him. I'm going to take the assumption that there are no other red flags. I've noticed with men who don't fit the stereotype lad, alpha, brash and who might have a more gentle or refined mannerism often struggle with making other male friends. Even if they have an interest like UFC, Formula One, football. I'm assuming based on the information given he wouldn't find sexist, racist jokes amusing. It's a great characteristic but often alienating to other men who will make these jokes for the banter. Honestly I'd be assessing whether these are people you actually want to associate with. I dunno. Your post sort of comes across as if you both think he should automatically be included in things. And if he isn't included then that means he's being rejected? I wouldn't say that's true. Maybe he, and possibly you, expect too much from others. There's more to friendships than saying, I like this thing. I expect you to let me partake in everything related to that thing. That's moving way too fast. Especially with something as personal as a weekend away. There's no way I'd expect people from work to invite me on a trip. Unless I was really good friends with them already. My advice to your partner would be to start slow. Build bonds first start with just one person he can make friends with. Do casual things like hang out at a bar or cafe or whatever. Don't make grand gestures like doing engineering works or expecting to go on mini vacations. Those things come with time and trust. I would advise him not to get disheartened and not to throw away potential friendships because of his feelings of rejection. Instead he should be patient and slow. Don't force things. Finally, because of his senior position at work it's best for him to focus on making friends outside of work. Because in reality most people don't want to hang around with their boss. I'm a woman, but I so relate to this. I'm that person that's friendly and gets along with most everyone on a surface level. People say they adore me, but I don't actually get invited to anything. For me at least, I think maybe it's possible I might be slightly on the spectrum. Like people like me, but I just don't quite know how to connect the final dot to bridge a true friendship. I literally do not know how to take friendship a step further. Does this feel familiar? Can I ask, are most of the groups he's being excluded by exclusively or predominantly cishet men? Is he autistic or neurodivergent at all? A lot of autistic people have problems making friends and keeping them. But they can't seem to figure out why. There are even studies done that show people inherently exclude autistic people because they find them off-putting. Another thought would be maybe he's more effeminate? Most of the people you mention not liking him happen to be cishet type men. Is this true? Just some thoughts. Obviously without knowing him, it could be anything. Maybe he gives off a vibe that people can't even explain or they don't want to tell you why because they don't want to hurt your feelings. 
I am just saying this because I am fishing around at possible ideas. This is a really tricky situation. And it could be any number of things. Personally, I am an introvert. And when I am in a relationship, I focus very directly on my relationship and not a ton on much else. He sounds like a very attentive lover and a very driven individual. And that is great. If I were to guess I would surmise that all of his resources are spent on you and his goals. So he sacrifices a lot of other relationships to get that. I say this because I am the same way. Is he feminine or queer coded? He might be being discriminated against on that basis. Your post reminds me a lot of myself. Growing up I was bullied a lot. Struggled with friends. Had a hard time connecting to people in uni and later work. According to people I didn't do anything wrong per se. But somehow I would be edged out of groups. Be excluded and if I took initiative no one could. As it turns out. In my case I was autistic. I just didn't know. I have found some lovely little groups of mostly ND and queer people where I feel at home now. There seem to be quite a lot of overlap. These are all wonderful, kind, thoughtful, hard-working people that I feel lucky to have in my life. But they share much of my struggle outside of the group. There is absolutely nothing wrong with them. There is just something about us that don't entirely jive with regular social standards and norms. We don't do anything wrong. We're just giving off a slight uncanny valley effect to those who are not like us. There have been studies that points to this as well. What we say isn't necessarily wrong in any way. But there is something about how we hold ourselves and communicate that elicits subconsciously. Pick up on. They couldn't pinpoint what or why. But the studies pointed towards elistic people consistently being less likely to want to spend. More time with the autistic person. I'm not diagnosing your partner with anything. BTW. It's more so that some of us, for different reasons, are just slightly different enough in some way or other that the majority of people will gravitate away from us and more towards the people who are more like themselves. It's just easier for them. Frustrating and hurtful for the person it's happening to. Absolutely. But it also doesn't mean that there are anything wrong with them. I definitely agree with other comments that he might not be alpha, frat type bro so he might not mesh well with co-workers. Your comments seem to back this up. You also say that your friends love him. Well, that is what really matters. Who cares about co-workers anyway? We often rely on friends and family for feedback on people we date and yours seem to approve so you are in a good position. I don't think there's anything to worry about. Do you have one of those brutally honest friends? Ask them they're usually re ones who can say it as it is. Maybe he's just slightly socially awkward? Or maybe competitive? Or a know-it-all? Maybe he's just very smart and not good at small talk and being a guy's guy type with your bills and father? Maybe he just doesn't have anything in common with anyone? Maybe you should sit with you mom privately and ask her in serious way? A lot of socializing for people is social case. Nerds throw them off. I guess people think he's neurodivergent because this is exactly the experience of a lot of neurodivergent people. I'm on the spectrum. I got masking down to AT so I appear pretty neurotypical in most settings. But I struggle a lot with relationships and generally I am not a popular person got excluded from a lot of things over the years. Had friends indulge in my hobbies without inviting me. Have my offers of help constantly turned down. Etc. Those who don't know me well enough or love me don't see why this is happening. They all think I'm great. Which is fantastic. I do love these people. But the majority of people I encounter simply just don't vibe with me since I can't 100% behave the way a neurotypical person would. It sucks. But such is life. Engineers are extra practical and logical. 
can potentially come across as condescending based on their intellect and confidence in their capacity to make a good argument. Not the most emotionally intelligent profession. A higher proportion of engineer fathers had children with Asperger's. All of these traits can make it tough to develop friendships. Any of this sound familiar? Without more info it's really anyone's guess. Do you live in a place where men are more stereotypically masculine? Boys will be boys, rough housing. Guy friends insult each other to bond kind of stuff. If you do and he's not this type of guy, that could be a factor. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Era Cast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.